hello guys welcome to my channel today we are going to see how to fix the xbox app error code 0x80074222 let's fix it guys first solution you just need to go to search menu and type services click on open it in services you just need to search for microsoft account sign in assistant double click on it startup type set to automatic and if the service status is stopped then you just need to start it and select apply and ok for save changes now you need to search for xbox live Auth manager service double click on it startup type set to automatic and if the service status is stopped then you just need to start it select apply and ok for save changes xbox live game save service double click on it startup type automatic start it select apply and ok xbox live networking service double click on it startup type automatic and service status start it select apply and ok after doing it you need to restart your pc after restarting your pc you can check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved let's move on to the second solution guys the same solution you just need to open up chrome and search for a gaming services repair tool comes up xbox support site click on open it in here you just need to scroll down click on the downloadable version and scroll down select download the gaming service repair tool for pc after getting download done you just need to click on it and run it guys select yes now you need to wait for few minutes to complete this process after getting completed successfully you just need to close stuff here and check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved let's move on to the third solution guys the third solution you just need to go to search menu and type xbox right click on the xbox app and select app settings you just need to scroll down and select the reset option select reset again after getting reset done you can check if the problem solved or not if the problem not solved let's move on to the fourth solution guys for the solution you just need to go to search menu and type a partial right click on the windows partial and select run as administrator and select yes now you just need to check my video description for this command used in my video just to copy and paste it and press enter after finishing this command you just need to close stuff here and restart your pc after restarting your pc you can check if the problem solved or not I hope one of these solutions fixed your problem guys. If the video helped you, don't forget to leave a like guys. You can also subscribe me and support me guys. Thank you.